What's going on everyone and welcome back to Planet Planet Entertainment. My name is Chris and in case you don't know, I review movies and I rank them on a scale of 0 to 100 in increments of 5. Today we are talking about the newest movie from Pixar, Lightyear. Now, I apologize that this review is very late. I did see this movie opening day, but it was like I explained before. I had prioritized over review other reviews over that and that's why this is taking so long to get up. Also, quick announcement, I posted this on my Instagram story a while ago, but I keep forgetting to mention it in my videos. I'm canceling my review for Braveheart. I'll review that at some point, but I just, I got other stuff I gotta do. I don't have time for Braveheart, so. Um, Lightyear, yeah, I saw it opening day with my girlfriend. I took her to see it. I think this movie's okay. My girlfriend hated it so much that on the drive home, she was literally yelling in the car about how much she hated this movie. And honestly, I don't blame her. If you hate this movie, I don't blame you. I've seen the IMDb rating. It's really bad. I get it. So for me, I found some enjoyment out of this movie. Let's talk about Lightyear. So Lightyear stars Chris Evans, Kiki Palmer, who, by the way, I would never see her in stuff anymore until just recently. The last thing I saw her in was True Jackson VP when I was a kid. And now all of a sudden, she's just back. Where did she go? Whatever. So anyway, Chris Evans, Kiki Palmer, Peter Sohn, Taika Waititi, and Dale Souls. It was directed by Angus Mc... McChain? No, McLane. Sorry. Who, by the way, is Buzz Lightyear's animator. He's been animating Buzz Lightyear ever since the first Toy Story. He is the guy to work on Buzz Lightyear, and they offered him the chance to direct this movie, and he did. So, that's pretty cool. So, the plot. This movie is about Chris Evans and his partner, they get stranded on this planet. And Chris Evans, he knows the way to do it by going up into space travel, right? Somehow, I don't really remember. It's been a few weeks since I saw the movie. But anyway, every time he does it, he jumps forward four, month, four years, two months, and something days into the future. So every time he comes back, time has passed because he keeps failing, right? And so eventually, he's so far in the future... Then now his partner's dead, and he's working with her granddaughter to try and take down the evil Zerg and his robot minions that are oppressing the people on this planet. Yeah, uh, I went into this. I was kind of excited for this movie, actually. I looked at the trailers, and I was like, that looks pretty good. So I was kind of excited for Lightyear. Um, and when I left, I, I gotta admit, I did leave disappointed. I don't like this movie very much. I... Yeah, it's it's not horrible, but I gotta admit it's not very good. So let's let's talk about it. so let's talk about things I like about it first. Firstly, Chris Evans. A lot of people are complaining that they replaced Tim Allen. Look, they had somebody else who played Buzz Lightyear in the original cartoon show, which I did watch when I was a kid and I liked. This is supposed to be like this is supposed to be him in the movie that Andy watched when he was a kid that made him fall in love with the Buzz Lightyear character, right? And so this is like Andy's favorite movie that he saw. And it makes sense that it wouldn't be Tim Allen because Tim Allen is Buzz Lightyear as a toy, not in this movie. You know, so it makes sense. I, I, I've heard that Tim Allen doesn't like this movie very much. I saw some that Patricia Heaton had kind of crapped on this movie for not casting Tim Allen. I'm sure Tim Allen doesn't, is it sad he wasn't a part of this? Because I heard that he didn't like it very much. So, you know, whatever. Um, I'm kind of on board with him. I didn't love this movie either. Um, but I liked Chris Evans, and I very quickly got on board with him. Even watching the trailers, I was like, I kind of like this. So, yeah, Chris Evans, he was very easy to get behind, and I liked him. Uh, also, Socks, the robot cat. Easily the best part of this movie. That cat was hilarious. I loved it. Stole the show. Best part of the whole movie. The jokes are really good, especially from Socks. Socks the Cat was just great. I it, she, That little thing just ate up the screen, and it, just, it was easily the best part of this movie, easily the thing I enjoyed the most. The animation was really good. I thought some of the characters, their eyes were, like, too big. It seemed like everybody except for Buzz Lightyear had, like, these really big eyes, and that was kind of off-putting to me. But other than that, it, it looked beautiful. As what, what else would you expect from Pixar? Uh, the costume design was really cool. I love the cool spacesuits they all got. Uh, I like it how the characters make a lot of mistakes, and that creates conflict in the plot. It it creates, you know, road roadblocks on their journey, and I like that. Uh, the characters aren't perfect. They make mistakes, and that's good. 
uh, the, the action scenes are really fun. They're really creative. They do a lot of cool different things, like them flying through space and all these cool things with like these vines that try to take people. And I like it all. It's got some good emotional beats and it's an easy watch. It's not a great movie, but it's an easy film to get through. All right, let's talk about my cons. So for one thing, this movie is not memorable at all. This You ever watch a Jeremy Johns review and he's like, he rates a movie and he's like, you're going to forget this movie in T minus five minutes. Yep, I already forgotten about it. Yeah, that that's this. It, it's a really, really forgettable movie. I'm never going to watch this again. Never. It's just the characters aren't memorable. I don't remember anybody's name in this movie except for Buzz. The music isn't memorable. Nothing about this is memorable. This is a very, very forgettable movie. And this is like, is this like it, their worst movie since like Cars 2? Probably. It might even be worse. I don't know. I haven't seen Cars 2 in freaking forever. But yeah, it's a really forgettable movie. I did praise it for the emotional beats, but the emotional beats are nowhere near as good as the other stuff they've done. Toy Story? All four of those movies. Great with that. This movie... Not so much. It does have some good ones. You know, they're all right. But like I said, really forgettable. I also have a hard time believing this is Andy's favorite movie. Really? This is this is the movie? This is the one? Really? This is the one that did it for him? Really? I don't buy that. And also, okay. I'm going to very briefly talk about the controversy. So there was a lot of controversy about, you know, like the gay kiss in this movie. It's very brief. It was very blown out of proportion. It didn't really bother me as much, but what did bother me is so, like, there are two women, right? And one of them gets pregnant, and they never explain that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Chris, do they have to? Kind of, because it doesn't make sense. It makes no sense, actually, at all, whatsoever. It doesn't make sense at all. I saw somebody on the internet, they were like, oh, maybe they had a fertility clinic, really? On an island, they're, on a planet they're stranded on? Really? Seriously? That's the theory you're going with? Oh my god. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense at all. None whatsoever. And it, it was just, they didn't need to do that. They could have just, I don't know, taken someone else's kid who got taken by the vines or something. I don't know, but it just, it makes no sense at all. Um, look, I love Toy Story. The first Toy Story, I'll, I'll rank the Toy Story movies if you want me to. Actually, I'll give my rating first. So, yeah, pretty forgettable movie. Didn't love it. I'm going to give it a 60 out of 100. Never going to watch this again. Not great. But Toy Story, I love. I love Toy Story. I love Toy Story 2. I love Toy Story 3. And I don't love it, but I really like Toy Story 4. If I had to rank them, it would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's my rating ranking for. I love, most people say that Toy Story 3 is better than Toy Story 2. I disagree. It's been a long time since I've seen them, but... I always really like Toy Story 2. I, I like it a little bit better than I like the third one. The first one's my favorite, then two, then three, and then four. I actually just watched four for the first time today because I wanted to at least get my opinion on it for this review. I don't know why I didn't go see it when it came out, but I just watched it today for the first time on Disney+. Plus. I really liked it. It was kind of episodic, kind of forgettable it, at some in some way. Not forgettable. Sorry, this is forgettable. It was just episodic. It was like, a lot of times I felt like this just feels like another really good episode of a really good TV show. But that ending made it worth it. So it was an easy 8 out of 10 movie for me. I really liked it. But the first one's a 10. The second and third ones I would probably give a 9. And the fourth one I would give an 8. Uh, but it's been a long time since I watched them. And if I ever do watch them again, I'll be sure to review them. But I love Toy Story. I grew up on Toy Story. And the animation in those movies is spot on. Especially the fourth one. It, it's just beautiful. Yeah, so that's Lightyear. Uh, 60 out of 100. Very, very forgettable movie. Never going to watch this again. Never going to think about it again. I'm glad I'm doing this review because after this, I never have to think about this movie again. Because it's for pretty forgettable. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Pine Planet Team for more. Hit the like button. Leave me reviews just in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Pine Planet Team for channel updates and other cool stuff. And more reviews are coming at you very soon thor love and thunder coming this week as well as other marvel stuff thank you for watching and much love